What is going on, everyone? Hope you're all having a great Christmas and a great break between, well, yeah, Christmas and New Year. So, my name is Liam, aka Liam the Plumber. You will find me mostly on Instagram and also TikTok, but now YouTube as well. So, before I delve into the, the big wide world of Liam the Plumber and Sterling Plumbers, I'm just gonna give you a brief introduction as to who I am and what I do. So like I say, my name is Liam. I work for these guys, Sterling Plumbers. So we're based in Sussex, southeast of England, for those of you who don't know and are further afield. We cover literally everything from pipe work, boilers, your maintenance jobs, so your taps, your toilets, pretty much everything you can think of. I tend to typically get a lot of the, the bread and butter stuff. So toilets, taps, showers, um, radiators, just general maintenance kind of stuff. So. You're gonna see what I do day to day, day in, day out, and I'm gonna do my best to show you the ins and outs of absolutely everything. Show you a variety of stuff, like what we do. Not just me, but all the guys I work with as well. But today, a little introduction into me, but I'm also gonna give you a bit of a tool bag tour because I've just spent the morning just cleaning up all of my tools ready for the new year. So let's get into it. The two tool bags. Got at the back here, my kind of jobby bag, my one that goes into every single job. Velocity Rogue, 4.5. We've then got my Vito Pro Pack Tech OTMC. Now this is kind of like my first fixed bag, my bit of kind of rough and ready bag. Carries a bit of everything, stuff that's probably not meant to sometimes. Um, the great thing about this one is, if you go over to my Instagram account, you'll see where I've added stealth mount feet to the bottom of this. So, it now fits onto my Milwaukee pack out. So, Let's get into this one first. Start off with this, the Vito Pro Pack Tech OTMC. So like I say, this is kind of my rough and ready first fix bag. Um, so we'll start off at the top. So I've got my little Stabila pocket level. Um, use that for like little sort of bits of stub work, etc. That just clips in on its own little clasp on the top of the, the bag, just like so. We'll go to the, the end. So on this end, got a little flexi bit holder, selection drill bit. So these are six, eight, and 10 different lengths. On the end, got my Stabila um, torpedo level magnetic, of course. We've then got knife on the end, We've then got a small extension for my impact, comes in handy. Then we get into these, so two plumb thumbs, really, really handy for when you want to remove a radiator and carry it through someone's house these are perfect, so you've got half inch on one end, three quarter on the other. Set square, or um, rafter square, whatever you want to call it. Two, um, two guides for my pipe bender. Um, I'll do another video on that at another point. Set of Allen keys, of course the Weirer ones right there. Set of Torx keys, again, Weirer of course. Set of long nice pliers. Olive cutters, 15 mil. Um, I've never really needed the 22 mil ones. Nipex um, pliers wrench, 250. Then got a set of three Nipex Cobras, had these yonks. And then just in here, we've got a Barco Baco slimline adjustable. I think that's an eight inch one, that one. So that's what lives in that side. On the ends, we've got punches. Um, I use these for, you know, on some ceramic sinks, you have to knock out for the tap hole. Um, that's what I use those for. Tape measure on the end, um, picks. Got my little HVAC ratchet. Um, I use this for drain offs, lock shield valves, gate valves, pump valves, that kind of thing. And that just lives in there. We then go, we're a screwdrivers. So I've got flatheads, posies, um, even the Torx ones. I keep these as well because they're dead handy to have. Another Phillips in there, a couple of files, a rasp, um, a pad saw. Pry bar, E-swing, S-swing, pry bar. Perfect for hammering into floorboards where there's nails and then you literally just leave the nail out. Perfect for those. Big long extension, that's another Milwaukee one. Really, really good, handy tool to have. Um, and my best chisels. <laughs> no, I'm joking. These um, are just for like knocking tiles and that kind of thing. Um, so on my other bag is where I've got my chisel drive wearer over there. So in the middle, 
use JetBlue, paste, um, NERAD pipe slices with the Regan um, cutter keeper. If you undo the end there, they, you can keep spare blades in there for, for those. That just keeps these all together. We then go Loctite 55, try and trust it, love this stuff. Hammer, E-swing, S-wing, I'm gonna pronounce it. Ruffenberger, uh, Rad Ratchet. Junior Hacksaw, right there. Plastic pipe cutter, use this for overflow, speed, for that kind of stuff. For waste, I use these, which are inside the van. The Rothenberger pipe cutters, or pipe slices even. And then finally, Rapid Blue. Um, it's kind of perfect for like decorative rads. Um, I'll use this on pretty much all of them apart from white radiators, because this stains white radiators if you're not careful. So that's there, and I'll push this over to one side. And then here, it's kind of like one of these kind of like little, little bits that's just handy to have. So, the first thing to come out is PTFB. Not that I use it very often. So PTFB I keep for leaking stopcocks, the, the packing gland. Pack that back out. Um, speed fit caps. Again, can never not have too many of those. So that's them. Uh, a couple of spare screws, always handy to have. Three and a half mil drill bit um, for boiler flues and for uh, shower screens. Uh, when you want to uh, put the self tappers into the, the profile. Uh, three quarter cap for blanking off um, three quarter rad valves. Um, that Allen key, I can't remember what that was for, so that's going in the bin. This, however, is a dead handy little tool to have. So it's a, like a finger turn ratchet, um, cheap and cheerful off Amazon. And this is a wing nut. Uh, driver, so it's quarter inch you can put in your impact. But I use this in there to undo the wing nuts on the bottom of um, toilet systems. That's dead handy tab as well. Three dumpies. This one's just a standard dumpy with no bits, but this one and this one right here from Weir Up have all the bits in the end. So this one's Phillips, Posi, and Flathead in there. And then this one is Torx, Torx and um, Allen Key. So that all lives in there. So that's kind of the general overview as to what I keep inside this bag right here. Next bag is this, the Velocity Rogue 4.0. So like I say, it's kind of my jobbing bag, goes in and out on every single job. We'll start off with this side. So I keep my Stabila 12 inch level on the end. That just sits in that holder. You can use it for kind of like a U gauge or whatever else, but that's kind of where I sit my level. On the other side, Keep a pair of Nipex um, cable scissors, um, tape loop, spare uh, Phillips on the end, chisel drive, telescopic magnet. And because I do a lot of taps, um, I keep a 17mm socket on the end into a snap on ratchet. You can get any ratchet, it does the same thing. Um, that just goes on there, a bit more leverage, and obviously set along screwdrivers. In this front pouch, we keep all my silicon stuff, so scraper, silicon tools, and a knife. Bit of PTFE for a game, um, stop tap packing glands, mini tube cutter in there. Then, we go into here, we keep, kind of like my main compartment really, um, magnetic tool tray. In here is some quarter inch Weira um, bits. The ratchet on the other side, I'll show you in a minute. We then keep a uh, washer box. So I always keep this washer box in the van. Um, it's from Thomas Dudley. In here, we've got all my fiber washers, rubber washers, shower hose, three quarter drain off, whatever. It's all in that one. We then keep in the bottom again another set of Weir Allen keys, small stabila level in there that's shorter than the one on the side just here. So that lives in there. We keep, um, what do we keep in here? We keep three night drivers, an eight, 13, and a 10 mil. They're the most common used ones. Now this is a duplicate to the ratchet that lives in my other bag right here. Um, on some jobs, there's two of us working together, like me and the apprentice, and one of us has one of these keys, the other one has the other. So you'll notice a lot of these are duplicate stuff. Um, so that's just, it does the same thing, 
um, just need a bit more leverage because I need a shorter handle. That's there. These though are amazing. If you haven't got a set of these, get some of these. These Nipex, I call them like a utility plier. They kind of do everything. Um, grip pretty much everything, rounded off screws, nails, whatever. These get the rusted screws out of the most difficult surfaces. These are amazing. We then go, we're a jokers. So I've got an eight, 10, 13, 16, 17, and a 19. Um, yeah, 17 I use for, again, what the snap-on ratchet does on the end here. Uh, tap cartridges, that kind of thing. Um, but it's handy to have kind of like a set of those. Um, I brought them as a, as, a, as a set, but I divvied them up like this, it was just easier. In here we've got a set of three Nipex Cobras, small, medium and large. Dinky set of Bako Barco adjustables, slim jaw as well. We keep, uh, what else we keep? Another set of 250 pliers wrench. There's another set in there to be fair. Um, wherever they are. There, there they are. Small set there. Um, and these are quite interesting. So when you're doing um, siphons or flush valves, you don't want to scratch the back nut because um, sometimes the back nut can be seen. So if you're using normal grips, like these or the Rothenberger ones, it can damage the nut. Whereas these, because they've got this sort of like plasticky foam type material there, it doesn't damage um, the plastic. And also really handy for any chrome as well if you want to hold against the rad valve it's perfect for those as well so they're really handy to have we've also got this set of adjustables which i've had since i started um again from barco Baco, and it's got a stilson end on the end as well had those a long long time then if i spin it around we'll get into this side so this side you can kind of see what this is about so in here, we've got these interchangeable Weera uh, Allen keys, not Allen keys, screwdrivers. That's what I mean to say. These interchangeable ones. So flat, um, Phillips and Flathead, just in there. Uh, another set of Weera screwdrivers, a uh, set of pliers, side cutters, long nose, normal ones, etc. cetera. Way goes, um, small Weera, quarter inch socket set in there. So again, this is a dead handy little tool to have. Has like all your bits on, all your extensions, etc. That's just perfect. Then go, I call these like Barco, Baco bolt cutters. Um, they're not, they're heavy duty side cutters. Um, I use these for cutting down the rods and rod waste. They're really handy. Um, fluke tester. Voltage stick, Nipex, like needle nose, but they're the 45 degree angle ones. They're handy to have. And then in here we go an un, un well an uncommonly used tool, but again gets you out of trouble. So Nipex again, but these are circuit pliers from Nipex. You can see how often I use them once every blue moon, but you do need them for some shower valves out there. So I've got a set of those as well. So there's four of them. And they all live in that bag. And that is kind of like my jobbing bag that goes into every job. Um, oh, I forgot this as well. Small precision screwdriver set. It's only a cheap set. Um, about two or three quid, many, many moons ago. Um, but it's handy for, first off, repairing my glasses when they break. Safety specs, that is. Um, and also uh, some terminals on some um, heating pumps uh, require just the finest of bits and they live up in the top there. So yeah, that's kind of that bag and that bag behind it. So there you go guys, literally, it's just, just starting to rain. Giving you a tool bag tour, so you've seen both my tool bags I take in and out of every job. When the weather improves and I don't get absolutely saturated by the rain, I'll do a full van tour. I'll do all kinds of stuff with everything you kind of see behind me. I'll show you what I've got, what I carry, what I use, what I don't use so much. Um, but I need to go and hit the websites and order some replacement stuff because oh, I, I think I'm pretty certain I've left some of my stuff on the last job before Christmas. Um, 
I'll see, I'll see. I think I'll wait for some bits. Um, but you know what it's like, you finish for Christmas, it's just a rush to get done for the year. Um, so I've mislaid some stuff, <laughs> honestly. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Really, really appreciate your time. A little bit of an introduction into me, Liam the Plumber, what I do, who I work for, and what a better way to do it than incorporate a tool bag tour. So if you haven't already, go and check out my Instagram. Go and check out TikTok as well. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and click on that notification bell so you don't miss a video. I'm gonna upload on a Sunday morning. Sunday mornings for me are perfect. Anyway, thank you very much. See you on the next one.